All right. So let's go ahead and reconvene. Okay, your leg, there's a hat. We got your legs back underneath. All right. What did you guys come up with for an answer? How many blocks or how many bags are in each block? Diamond's about to jump out of her skin. Diamond. Six. Six, correct. Six. Good. Can you please explain why I found six? We will explain, explain why I found six. Hold on. Just Diamond right now. Diamond. Why don't you explain? Okay, why don't you explain why six in each bag? It's six in each bag because on this side it have three bags. Right. Um, yeah, it have three bags. And on this side it have two. But on this side it have one left. So you take that one out and you put everything else in the bag. So take this stack of blocks and put it in a bag, and you got three bags with one block. Yes. Yeah, very good. Okay, that's one way to solve it. Okay? Guys, this is problem solving skills. You guys looked at this problem and at first said I have no idea how to do this. You guys work there try to solve how y'all got it. That's, that's one way. Okay, Sandy, what's your question? But don't the bags take some weight to them? Oh, great question there. Okay, the bags for this problem assume there's no weight to the bags, just blocks. Okay, they're like a really light paper feathery bag. There's really no way to attach them. Okay, all right, here's the way we're going to learn to do this. And if you guys can follow along with this, you will understand all the principles of algebra. All right, this is probably the most important lesson we're going to do all year. This sets up. Sorry. I need to put away this. I can't hold it. I got All right, this sets you guys up for algebra, calculus, geometry, trigonometry, everything. So I need you guys to put yourselves in slant position right now. They sit up straight. Man, Savon's looking college bound right now. Johnny's definitely looking college bound right now. I want to. Okay, Savon's college bound. I'm telling you to sit straight up, please. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. Nathan, you sit straight up, please. Nathan, I'm sorry, you're right. I'm sorry. Nathan, sit so straight. Way back in the chair, please. Nathan, you're back in the chair, please. Thank you. All right. Here is, here is the algebraic way we're going to go ahead and solve this problem. What I'm going to do, and I'm going to have a different strategy than you guys, I'm going to start taking bags away from the equation instead of uh, moving things around. So I want to get just one bag on one side and blocks on the other. You guys tell me if this strategy is going to work as well. So watch how I do this. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take as many bags away as possible until I just have one left. So I'm going to come over here and take two bags away. One, two. But remember we talked about this equation, equal sign. What does that mean? Does it mean to make or does it mean what else? What do we say we're going to move to? Someone raise your hand. Yes. No, so we're getting away from that now. We want equal to mean what? Yeah. Balance. We want it to be balanced. Okay? So whatever I do to one side of the equation, in order to balance it out, we're going to do it to the other side of the equation as well. So I'm going to take away two bags over here. What must I do to the other side of the equation? Uh, I'm going to go to John Take two bags Take two bags on the other side. Okay? All right, bam. We're back to a balance is what exactly what we want. All right. What I'm going to do now, I still want... I still want this bag to be by itself. I still want one bag to be by itself. So what I'm going to do to get this bag by itself? Gary. Take that one block away. Take that one block away, but watch what happens. This equal sign, what's equal sign starting to mean now, etc.? What does it mean? It, it, that means it's going to start leaning because if you take one off there, um, this is going to have more than it. Yep, and this equal sign means it has to be in what? Equal to or each other. Or balance. balance. Balance to each other, okay? So in essential, even in essential predictions, right? Turn your eyes up here. Take that away. Oh, it's on balance. That's not right. This equal sign means it has to stay in balance. We're moving away from this concept of the equal sign meaning to produce onto and staying balanced. So I'm going to go ahead, take one away. And not an even. It's balanced. Now look how I did it compared to how y'all did. I just started taking things away and creating a balance until I had one bag over here and saw however many black blocks how to be on this side to keep it balanced and balanced out. Okay, raise your hand if you're confused right now. Uh, this no, wait, right, Nathan, that's great. Nathan, what's your question? I just did three times two. Two bags did three bags. So that's six. So I don't get this one. Okay. Your strategy doesn't work in this case, but not all of them, okay? We're going to try another different strategy right now. But it's uh, be the same strategy, but a different problem right now. Uh, but instead, we're going to throw in a little bit of a new wrinkle. Okay, so on your guided notes, you guys should take a look on your guided notes right here on the second balance beam. Everybody put their finger on the second balance beam so I know you guys know what y'all are talking about. 
Okay, very good. I got Sabney, Gary, Paris, and your finger on this, please. Nathan, Richard, oh, on this part right here. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, new problem. All right, watch how I set this up now. I'm actually going to write an equation that could possibly represent this. Uh, Joseph, do we know how many boxes are, are in each bag? Uh, this is a different problem. So it's not going to be six anymore. You don't? Good. So what do we use to represent for a number that we don't know? A variable. Good. Joseph, pick a variable for us. Eight. Eight? What? H. H? All right. H works. All right. So Joseph decided to pick H to represent uh, the number of bags we have. We have two bags over here. Mm -hmm. Two unknowns. We're going to put the following. Whoops. What do I do? Two H. Mm -hmm. Okay? Plus, however many blocks we've got. How many blocks do we have? Seven. Paris, why you, someone raise their hand. What? How many blocks do we have? Over there. Yep. Seven. 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 Okay, I'm going to add seven, seven to that. All right? I'm going to create this equal sign, and we're going to create this equality, this balance, in the, ba in the uh, equation. And I'm going to put one H over here, because we have one bag over on this side. And it looks like Plus ten. ten. So can you raise your hand, please? And 10 blocks on the other side. Okay, raise your hand right now if you're confused about where I got this. I love the fact that Johnny's being very college about right now and raise your hand when we know he's confused. Johnny, what, what's confusing you? Uh, all those numbers, I know, I think I know how you got this. Okay. Okay. So what does the H represent? Uh, Don't know? Okay, what do we use a variable to represent? Good, a number that we don't know. Do we know the number of blocks in each of these bags? No, we don't. So we have two bags, and we don't know the number of blocks. So I put two H right here to represent the number of bags we have right here. Okay, but we do know the number of blocks that are outside of the bags, don't we? Okay, so that's why I added plus seven. These combined are going to equal the amount of weight we have on this side of the scale. Okay? Yeah, a grounder question? Okay. What does the H represent? Remember? Okay. Well, this number that you don't know. The number of blocks in what? We don't know the number of blocks in what? The bags. The bags, right? How many bags do we have? Three. We're on this side. Just on this side, right? Two. That's the two bags that we don't know. Okay. Plus the seven that we do know. Okay? On this side, just right here. This represents all the weight we have on this side of the scale. Okay, do you see where I got this seven from? Seven blocks are outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. You good? All right. That's all right, guys. This is all I knew. If y'all are confused or looking at or looking at me like I have no idea what's going on, it's okay. We're gonna get there together. Oh. Yep. Yeah. This is the first time we got there taking this picture and moving it over to an equation. Glad the light bulb just went off. That's excellent. Okay, Gary, you hook your head. Are you confused still? Okay, good. All right, we're going to get... I got a question. A card room. Yes. All right, hold on. I need to slow that thing. Yeah, hold this.